When I first heard the bass drop at the first sound system dance I went to, and that incredible pressure that came out of the boxes, I think that was, you know, I'll never forget that. And that was the thing that really hooked me into it, that made me, you know, want to build boxes that sounded like that. But I think it was that, that first... <laughs> I grew up in, in West Yorkshire, you know, Leeds, Bradford area. Yeah, so I was, as a youth, I grew up in these, in that area, you know, which was a tough area, a real hard working class area. You know what I mean? Yorkshire people is known for drinking. You go to the pub when you're young and you start drinking and you don't stop until you fall over, you know. Really serious, serious problem there. I remember when I was 16, we used to go through this thing called 10 pints. You had to drink 10 pints of beer. You know, at 16, man, you know, fall over many times and, you know, until you can do it and then you're one of the boys. You know, that kind of, that kind of society I grew up in, you know. Tough, man. Yorkshire's tough. Morning. How you doing? Good, man. Huh? Essential English cup of tea. Which one's mine, mate? <laughs> Look at it, man. Did you forget to put a sack? You forget to put a sack in it. As I got older to around 16, was when punk was just, bam, I just started to explode. I used to go to the art college and get my hair dyed by the hairdressing department because they used to do it for free. So I used to have different color hair every day and things. Right, so I started getting into punk. And the first, the early punk concerts, like the Sex Pistols, the Damned, the Clash and things, they used to play at Leeds University. So I used to go there, check them. But those times there, there was no recordings. There wasn't anything that was on vinyl. So whereas normally at a concert, you would have a DJ who plays his tunes and gets everybody into the vibe, and then the band comes. What they did was, go to Chapel Town, which is the Caribbean area of Leeds, and get a sound system to come and play. Right? It was like this contrast, a massive big sound system playing. So at first I used to go for the punk bands, but then later I found myself far more interested in this mystical, this mystical thing that was happening. It was something that set the foundation then really that I never, I never could turn back again. Look, last time, what happened last time, yeah? You know, normally, on this side we have a smaller stack because we're quite close to it, yeah. and up the end we have a bigger stack. Yeah. But somebody... <laughs> somebody forgot a box last time. So we only had one mid-tops on that stack at that side and one mid-tops at that side, right? But afterwards they were saying that's better. So they're saying now they... So they're saying do like the mistake last time. For the sake of the shot, you know. Hey, I've got my spliff in my hand. This is what you're made to do. Everything else that you've done before is preparing you to do this. You know what I mean? So it, it really does dominate my life, to be honest with you. Like my fourth child, first child, whichever child. <laughs> That's old grey building. You have reached the old grey building. Hey man! All right. Ah, you cool? Ready. We don't have sound background. We teach ourselves how to do these things. It does become a journey. Do you know what I mean? If you go to college like I did for graphic design, you get to a quite quick to an end. You, you see it all quite quickly. But if you're learning it yourself, you start to see corners that maybe you wouldn't learn if you were if you were taught how to do it by somebody. You know, we learn our own way to do it. <laughs> Music's real important, you know what I mean? I think in this day and age where people, they listen to too much MP3, you know, they've missed 
already MP3 is cutting out a big percentage of your bass. It's cutting out the frequencies that we like, the high, high frequencies and low, low frequencies. So we don't want to let that tradition die, the tradition of playing loud, <laughs> heavy music. Run the rhythm track, exclusive fashion and style scene. Oh Lord, mercy gone and judgment come. Early in the morning, when the sun is shining, yeah. King Shiloh crews are waking, giving thanks and praises. Give thanks to the most that we rise this morning Big sound and string up we play and the dance get nicer again but To create a, 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 a sound system session, that's why we call it a session really It's not a party, you know, we're not there all to, to shout and scream and be all you know, We're there in session, together, as a group of people to feel a vibe that's coming from the music and from the singers and to feel uplifted, yeah, for the time that we're in, that we're in a session. I miss a run, come and rally round, Rasta man, can me we chant some songs? King Shiloh, I say, run, come and rally round, the Rasta man, can we the article sound? Hey, run, come and rally round, the Rasta man, can me we have some fun? Run, come and rally round Rasta man, can't be the article sound. Sometimes it finishes too quickly, you know what I mean? You want to stay in that state forever, but it, it, it doesn't. Then you go back to your normal life again, or the day-to-day -day business, and then it's hard, you know? If, if we don't, we all talk about it within our sound, you know, that when we don't have sessions, we're like junkies. We're missing something so bad, really. You know, I might have an argument with my wife every day. I might, he might have things with his girl. You know, it, it manifests in many different ways, but it is, it's like something that we need to do on a regular basis. And it is because of that ultimate upliftment that you feel euphoric and feel, yeah, almost ecstatic. And they say, run, come and rally round, Rasta man, can me we chant some songs? King Shiloh, I say, run, come and rally round, Rasta man, can we are the article sound? Hey, run, come and rally round, Rasta man, can me we have some fun?